Let's take a look at how respiration takes place in plants. Just like animals, plants also use energy from respiration. They use the oxygen from the air and they release carbon dioxide. Respiration in plants involves the exchange of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide. And as a result, these two gases are called respiratory gases. Let's have three different looks in relation to plants and animals in terms of respiration. Plants. All the parts of a plant, the root, the stem, the leaves, they take part in respiration. There's little transport of gases from one part of the plant to another. Respiration occurs at a slow rate. In the case of animals, all parts of the body take part in respiration. The transport of gases takes place over long distances and respiration occurs at a faster rate. Let's look at a diagram. Respiration in roots, stems, and leaves before we have a look at their breakdown. Respiration in roots. Soil has its particles with air trapped in between them. The roots in a plant take in the air present in the soil by the process of diffusion. The oxygen that is trapped in the root haze reaches all the other cells of the root. Carbon dioxide is produced and moves out in the same process through the root haze by diffusion. If too much water is present, then the soil can become waterlogged. As a result, diffusion of oxygen cannot take place and as the oxygen molecules would be trapped and expelled by the water. In stems, especially herbs or herbaceous plants that have stoma or stomata, these are special pores or openings where gaseous exchange takes place. Oxygen present in the air diffuses through these stoma to reach all the cells within the plant. Carbon dioxide produced diffuses out through the same stoma. Plants with hard and woody stems do not have stomata. The bark has lenticels for gaseous exchange. Oxygen from the air diffuses through the lenticels and reaches the inner cells of the stem for respiration. The carbon dioxide gas produced then diffuses out through the same lenticels. Leaves also have tiny pores called stomata. Gaseous exchange by the process of diffusion takes place through these. Oxygen from the air diffuses through the stomata and carbon dioxide diffuses out through the same stomata. Respiration in leaves occurs during the day as well as night. During the day, by the process of photosynthesis, plants manufacture the food where they take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen. But during the day, as photosynthesis takes place and releases oxygen, some of this oxygen is used in respiration. During the night, no photosynthesis takes place and the plants take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. I hope you have enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arrangeacademy.com. Furthermore, for a subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash arrangeacademy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash Academy. Thank you.